All right, Shalom. All praise, honor, and glory goes to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Harakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone who teach and rule well, and peace and salutation unto the hopeful elect of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. Peace and salutations. So, this lesson is basically going to go into how um, through our disobedience, through our falling away from Yahweh by Shimei Awashai, we lost our hope. We lost our confidence in Yahweh by Shimei Awashai. And through this captivity underneath these Edomites, these other heathen nations, they are here to keep our hope suppressed. However, through Yahweh Shai, we are actually gaining that hope back. And that's what these other heathen nations do not want us to have. Hope, faith, belief, confidence, trust. See, because those are the elements which were beaten out of our people. Complete disbelief and inserted doubt. But through the spirit of Yahweh by Shimei Awashai, we actually have hope back. And so I just want to cover it briefly because uh, I'm uh, outside of uh, the Shaddai, you know, the, the, the plantation. So I just want to, you know, get in a quick lesson. But, you know, I've been meditating on this, this thought about hope, because when you have hope, it doesn't matter what um, you see. And that's another element of faith, because faith in itself is not by the things in which you see, but the things in which you hope for. It says the evidence of things not seen. And so that is something that is ingrained into the spirit of the hopeful elect. So I just want to cover a quick uh, couple of scriptures and Lord willing through the spirit. Uh, this lesson will be edifying. This is Ephesians 2 and I'm going to start at 11. It says, wherefore, remember that ye being in times past Gentiles, Israelite foreigners in the flesh, because we were keeping the customs and the traditions of the other heathen nations, just as it is here in America until we found out that we are Israelites, that we are, are the children of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, who are called uncircumcision by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands. That at the time ye were without Hamashiach, we were without Hamashiach, okay? Just as it was when they implanted into us Jesus Christ, okay? We had lost that name, those names of Yahweh, Wa Yahweh Shai. We were without those names. We were without that power. We were without hope. Being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel, okay? Our brothers that were still in the, uh, in Jerusalem and Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise, which is the reason why we were keeping these other heathen nations, uh, customs and traditions in the flesh, because we didn't know that we were associated to the covenant of Yahweh by Shemiah through promise. Having no hope. And without Yahweh in the world, OK, so the reason why I'm laying out this scripture first is to show you that Esau, the so-called white man, plays on the fact that when we were aliens to who we are, he wanted to keep that distance or that difference. OK. Um, and create more um, of a gap between us knowing who we are and what he has uh, implanted in us to believe who we are. Which is the reason why now that spell, that sorcery on two thirds of our people is so heavy. Because they are the ones that have believed the lie, whereas the hopefully let believe in Yahweh Shai. OK, I'm going to read verse 12 again, Ephesians 2 and 12, that at that time ye were without Hamashiach being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope 
and without Yahweh in the world. So we're going to get this word here. No hope or just um, hope. Strong's G 1680 El Peace El Peace. Now, the first definition is off. It says expectation of good hope in in the uh, Israelite sense, joyful and confident expectation of eternal salvation. OK. That means that without a joyful and confident expectation of eternal salvation, what does that mean for your disposition? What does that mean as you go throughout life and when situations do not uh, are not favorable towards you? What does that do? It keeps pressing and pushing you further and further and further away from you. How by Shemiah Shai. And if the only things in which our people have been given being, quote unquote, Jesus Christ or religion then that is where they now center their hope in, which is really just an idol, which is really just vanity. OK, so I just wanted to show that that ingredient of hope leads or pulls or has a magnetism towards eternal salvation. So without hope, your quote unquote salvation is in man. And not in Yahweh by Shemiah was shy. Okay. So I, I just want to cover uh, another handful of scriptures that, that kind of go into that same sentiment. I'm going to start here at um, Job. Chapter 19. And. I'm just going to read the point. Yeah, well, let me start at the top. This is Job 19 and 1. Then Job answered and said, How long will ye vex my soul and break me in pieces with words? Because not only through slavery have our people been broken in pieces, but through those words of religion and Christianity and, and media, all of these are forms of sorcery. Because as I said, we were, or as the scriptures that said, we were aliens from the commonwealth. OK, we were separated. We were dispersed. We were scattered from that source of Yahweh Shai. And through the dispensation of time, that is what Esau has promoted is just more and more words to keep our people at bay from coming back to Yahweh by Shemiah Shai and actually having hope. Let's jump down here to verse seven behold i cry out of wrong but i am not heard i cry aloud but there is no judgment he hath fenced up my way that i cannot pass and he hath set darkness in my paths scripture says that he um uh, esau the so-called white man hath put darkness for light okay and light for darkness you know so so his whole thing is to confuse our people to have them believe the lie and not believe the truth. Okay. And that's exactly what Job is saying here. That his paths. Everything in his path was darkness. Okay. And when you don't have. Uh, vision beyond. More mortal eyes. It can discourage you. And create doubt to where there is no hope. However, through Yahweh Shai, we have hope to where we can see beyond the darkness. We can see beyond America's lies of voting and democracy and religion and, uh, you know, family. And, you know, what I mean, all of that is darkness because it does not have the spirit of Yahweh by Yahweh Shai. So with us having hope in Yahweh by Shemiah was shy. We can see beyond the darkness and we can actually see the true light, which is Yahweh Shai. Verse 9, uh, 9, uh, Job 19 and 9. He hath stripped me of my glory and hath taken the crown from my head. Mm. He hath destroyed me on every side and I am gone. And mine hope hath he removed like a tree. 
So that hope that was once securely planted and rooted as as a, as a, a plant, you know, by the river of those living waters of Yahweh, Esau, the so-called white man, through his mysticism, through his sorcery, through his witchcraft, through, you know, all these calendars and these wicked holidays, hath removed our people's hope as a tree. Okay. Um, let me get one more here. This is Job 14 and... I'm going to start at uh, five. Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. Turn from him, <clears throat> turn from him that he may rest till he shall accomplish as in hireling his day. For there is a hope of a tree. If it be cut down, that it will sprout again. And that the tender branch thereof will not cease. So that is our hope going back to being rooted in Yahweh. If we were cut down as far as that, you know, that tree that was planted by the rivers of living water, you know, and us being those branches of Yahweh, if it was cut at any given point, it's OK, because that root is still tied to Yahweh, which is our hope. OK, that's why it says verse seven, for there is a for there is hope of a tree. OK, we being uh, 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 forms of being trees of Yahweh by Shai, OK, or as a plant. OK, for there is a hope of a tree if it be cut down that it will sprout again and that the tender branch thereof will not cease, though the root thereof wax old in the earth. And the stock thereof die in the ground, yet through the scent of water, it will bud and bring forth bows like a plant. It said through the scent of water, those rivers of living water, these holy scriptures, that was all that it took. Was a scent of knowing that we are the children of. Of Yahweh by Shimei Awashai to reactivate that that seed or that old withered uh, uh, tree to actually bud and to sprout again. That is the power of Yahweh by Shimei Awashai. Okay, that is the power of hope. All right, so um, <clears throat> I got a couple more, and then I got a dip through the spirit man and I, I would love to elongate this uh this lesson because it's beautiful that Yahweh by shimei awashai has left hope in the hopeful elect and faith and you know all of those intangibles those ingredients that are necessary to return unto Yahweh by shimei awashai are only in that seed you know um this is Psalm 71 and I'm going to start at verse, let's just start at 10. For my enemies speak against me and they that lay wait for my soul take counsel together saying, Yahweh hath forsaken him, persecuted, uh, forsaken him, persecute and take him for there is none to deliver him. O Yahweh, be not far from me. O my power, make haste for my help. Let them be confounded and consumed that are adversaries to my soul. Let them be covered with reproach and dishonor that seek my hurt. But I will hope continually and will yet praise thee more and more. So that hope is what really drives that fruit and that budding, okay, of that, of that plant or that root, okay, of the hopeful elect. It's hope, that scent, that scent of water, just the whiff of it, you know, just like the, the, the woman that had the infirmity. All she had to do was touch the hem 
of Yahweh by uh, of Yahweh Shai's garment. And she was made whole, she was made pure. Okay? So likewise with us coming back to our understanding, being uh, uh, drawn back to that commonwealth of Israel, no longer being a Israelite foreigner or a Gentile in our actions, in our, in our spirit, but now coming back to that hope, we have that continually. So that darkness that set, set before us, it doesn't matter. Because we have that eternal salvation within us. Okay. Um, and just to prove that. We're going to back that up real quick. This is Psalms. 130. And. Mm. Let's just read. Uh, verse 5. I wait for the Lord. My soul doeth wait. And in his word, do I hope? OK, that word being the, the that living water. OK. Which nourishes our spirit. To where every morning we can go out and fight this fight of good faith. OK. To where no weapon formed against us will prosper. And every and every word that comes against us, we're going to condemn. OK. Verse six, my soul waited for the Lord more than they that watch for the morning. I say more than they that watch for the morning. Let Israel specifically hope in the Lord for with the Lord, there is mercy and with him is plenteous redemption for who those trees. Those trees that came from the seeds of Yahweh by Shemiahushai, which are only Israel. OK, you can you can reference Galatians, the third chapter. OK, for more insight on that specific point. Verse eight, it says, and he shall redeem Israel from all his iniquities. OK, so um, I'm just going to end out, you know, a couple of rapid fire scriptures that. um Go into the reason why we have that hope, man. And it's only for us. You know, these other heathen nations ain't hoping to be delivered. You know, they just have a, a ritualistic mentality. This is 1 Corinthians 9 and. Verse 9, it says, for it is written in the law of Moses, thou shalt not muzzle the mouth of the ox that treaded out the corn. Doeth Yahweh take care of for oxen okay as far as giving tithes and alms you know to the men that are laboring uh for you how by shimmy verse 10 or saith he it all together for our sakes for our sakes no doubt this is written that he that ploweth should plow in hope and he that thresheth in hope should be partaker of his hope we're plowing in hope. We're threshing in hope. To where through the spirit of Yahweh by Shimei Shai, Lord willing, we will be the partakers of hope. And we already went into the definition of hope being that eternal salvation, joyfulness, rejoicing. OK, because that's what Edomites do not want you to have. Is joy that we are going to be delivered, confidence that we are going to be delivered, and that they are not. This is Romans chapter 15, verse 4. For what for whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. That we through patience and comfort of the scriptures, that water, might have hope. We have hope continually. Okay. Because we are the ones that are plowing in hope. Nobody else is plowing in hope. Everyone else outside of the cosmos, okay, of Israel are sowing doubt. 
We are plowing hope. We are threshing hope. We are partaking of hope. To where these scriptures provide us hope. Okay. Um, last verse here. We want to wrap up. This is uh, Acts 2. And I'm going to start at verse. Yeah, this is beautiful. Kahalal like how about shoot me out with shot. Let's start at 21. Acts 2 and 21. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Now, we already uh, went into uh, the book of Psalms and how salvation is only for uh, Israel anyway, because Israel is the only nation that has hope in Yahweh by Shai. OK. Verse 22. Ye men of Israel, hear these words. Yahweh Shai of Nazareth, a man approved of Yahweh among you by miracles and wonders and signs, which Yahweh did by him in the midst of you, as ye yourself also know him being delivered by the by the determined by the determinate counsel and foreknowledge of Yahweh, ye have taken and by wicked hands have crucified and slain. Whom Yahweh hath raised up once again, that word raises you up, OK, to where if you cut down, you know, if Esau, you know, destroys, you know, our, our, uh, any of the hopeful elect, there's still a root. So so you, you you can cut off the branches. You you can cut to, down to the stump. But through the spirit, the Lord has that hope that is still going to regenerate that tree to life again. And that tree being uh, that seed in that tree being Yahweh, Yahweh shot. Verse 24, whom Yahweh hath raised up, having loosened the pains of death because it was not possible that he should be holding of it for David speaketh concerning him. I foresaw the Lord always before my face for he is on my right hand that I should not be moved. Verse 26. Therefore did my heart rejoice and my tongue was glad. Moreover, also my flesh shall rest in hope. Okay. Why? Is our flesh resting in hope? Because when we were without Yahweh, when we were aliens, we were without hope. We now have that hope back. This is a part of our rejoicing. Okay. This is a part of the reason why um, Esau, the so called white man, can throw everything he can at us. And it's not going to matter because our hope is greater. OK, and that's the main thing that he did not want us to have is hope, you know, because once we have hope, it can't be taken away any longer, you know. So. So, yeah, I mean, really. Um, let me see here. Yep. I'm going to read 27 and 26. But really, that's the point. You know, Lord willing, you brothers were edified. This is Acts 2 and 27. It says, because thou will not leave my soul in hell. OK, this situation in which we're in. OK, this condition in which we're in. Neither will thou suffer thine holy one to see corruption. Thou has made thou has made known to me the ways of life. Thou shalt make me full of joy with thy countenance. So, um. Yeah, you know, hey, through the spirit, like I said, Lord willing, you brothers were edified. You know, once again, call halal a how by shimmy out with shy by shimmy with Double honors to the apostles, great millstone, teaching real well. Peace and salutation to the elect. Shalom.